Pop Love. Welcome. Come in. Come in, you beautiful people. I got another unboxing for you. This is the Quilted Cow. It comes in a big box. The Quilted Cow runs me, I believe it's 60 a month. That's in, I believe that's included shipping and taxes. And it's a monthly subscription if you're not uh, uh, familiar. Um, I'll put the link below if you're interested. Um, not affiliated, I just get it myself. But it comes in this outer box and then you open it and you get <laughs> a delicious yummy box. I love it. And it's so stinking cute. It is so stinking cute. Hit that, hit that QR code. There you go, do the QR code. Check them out, check them out. Hashtag Moon Mail, hashtag Wicked Cool Quilters. I can't talk like that. I try sometimes, sometimes I can. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can. But in this box, you open it and you've got a whole lot of goodies. It's like a whole lot of goodies. Like a whole, did I say a whole lot of goodies? You can shop with them anytime. TheQuiltedCow.com. Shop live Facebook Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. Wednesday, website Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Central. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't know. What is that? It looks like a little bling on there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is the April 2024. The Quilted Cow. Look at cool quilters and so a small mail. The April box includes this or that. You can do this or you can do that. I love that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. That is very cute. You can do the very cute bag or the BB basket. And two small fold in store baskets using one fabric. And we get a. Finishing kits, please visit our website. And there is a code for 10% off your entire order. So, our also included in our box is all kind of goodies. Let's see what they are. And you get YouTube tutorials. Okay. Oh, I gotta learn how to make these bags. They're gonna make me make a bag. They're just gonna make me make a bag. We have the very cute bag and it's very cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. This or that. This or that, I don't know. This is a very cute bag. It's very, very cute. Oh, These people, I tell you what, a very cute bag. It's very, very cute. Very cute bag. Very cute. Oh gosh. This is by Natalie Santini at So Hungry Hippie. So Hungry Hippie. S E W. So Hungry Hippie. That's funny. I like that. Okay. And then we have the Help Helpful Heifers series. It's the small fold and store baskets. So you can do the help. Help full heifer series, small fold in store baskets. Those are really cute. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And then we have the BB basket, and this says 
you can do this bag or the BB basket and you can either make the berry key bag or the BB basket into small fold and store baskets. So you can do these two and the BB basket. BB basket. Let me take it out so I can show you. It's very, very cute. <laughs> it's very, very so stinking cute. Berry basket. Isn't that adorable? Oh, it's yummy, yummy, yummy to my yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. Now we have, what else do we have? What else do we have? Isn't there somewhere? Okay. We have, I think this is the liquid vinyl to use on lining of either project. No, where is that? Oh my gosh. Heat and bond liquid vinyl. Gel coating, non-toxic, acid-free, fil filfilate, fil fil something, late-free. Oh, this is oil cloth effective, waterproof, stain resistant. You use this on the lining of either project. What? Well, this is new. Hey, George. This is definitely new. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's like a whole full 8.68 eight, eight ounces. My goodness. I told you it was a lot. Did I tell you it was a lot? It's a lot. Okay. We have a fabric kit and vinyl for this or that project. Let's see if this is it. I think this is it. This is the fabric kit. Hey, buddy. What you doing? You want to hang out? All right, old man. If y'all aren't aware, this is King George. He is our old buddy. We let him do what he wants. Georgie Porgy. Keep putting in pie. He's an old man. He's about 15 years old. So, he looks all beat up. He's just old. So, this is all the fabric and patterns included to complete either project. You have liquid vinyl in your box to use on the lining of either project and you watch the YouTube tutorial or use per manufacturer's instructions. Okay, I love their fabric. Like, this is my third box and I... It was the first one I didn't love. I loved the last, I believe I loved the last one. What was the last one? <laughs> I felt like there was only one I didn't like and it was um, that 4th of July stuff. This is, it doesn't tell me, but it's very, very cute. Look how very, very cute that is. That's a lot of fabric. This, okay, here we go. This is Strawberry Season, a Wish Well collection. Briar Hill, Hill Design, Strawberry Season, a Wish Well collection. Okay. Hmm. So we have that. Oh. Lots and lots of goodies. We do have vinyl. Look at his baby little berry strawberries. What does this go on? I don't know where it goes. But look. Can you see the little baby strawberries? Oh. Little baby strawberries. That's our piece of vinyl. Oh my goodness. What a box. What a box. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to have to learn how to make bags, obviously. Make the bags. Just make the bags. And then we have a piece of Robert Kaufman. This is the Wishwell Collection Strawberry Season. So it's by Robert Kaufman. Okay. 
And then this is the other piece of fabric. It's a big old piece of fabric. Let me show you this. See, it's, is it upside down? <laughs> It's upside down. Oh, I'm going to show you upside down. Then I'll show you right. I'm going to show you upside down. And then I'm going to show you right. <laughs> there you go. So stinking adorable. <sighs> it's super yummy. It's all berry, berry, berries. Yes. Oh my goodness. So we have this and that. So you can do this or you can do that. And you have received, it says all fabric and patterns included to complete either project. So what else do we have in this delicious, becoming one of my favorite boxes? Okay, we did the fabric kit and the vinyl. And it comes with the heat and bond liquid vinyl to make it waterproof, stain resistant. We did, wait, what? Here's the thread. We got some Mettler. I don't see what kind it is or a number. Let's see. If it is, it's really small. But we got some pretty cute Mettler thread to match. Matching with the Mettler. Patterns for all project. We have a, what? No, we didn't because I'm going to be so mad right now. <sighs> this is a pattern stand. Hold your patterns upright to save valuable workspace. Ah, uh, for custom design quilting products, purplehobbies.com. Save your valuable workspace on your sewing or cutting table. Holds one to fourteen pages. Waiting so your pattern stays in. Waited so your pattern stays in place. I just went and did another Timu haul, mm -mm. and I bought me a little pattern stand for my um for my buying Camille quilt book. But this only holds one to 14 pages, so it's okay because it'll hold the smaller patterns. I have not seen anything like this. And uh, um, here's the box. In case you like it. And then mine is, oh, it's kind of heavy. It's like heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things to throw at her husband. I didn't keep them in line. No, I could get dangerous. I'm just, I'm, I'm just playing. <laughs> so this is, it goes in here like this. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it holds it. So you just put, yeah. Let's see. We'll just do it like this. And it's got little tabs in there. Yeah. Well, they thought of everything, didn't they? Okay, we still have more goodies. We have, okay. This is where I saw the bling. It is a Dritz tomato pin cushion. I love all things pin cushion. All things pin cushion. And this has got a little bling on it. Um, so, I love it. Because we got to have a little bling. And boy, they got this wrapped so tight. It'll take me till... 2053 to unwrap it. Okay. Look, it's so cute. It's got, oh, it's velvet and a little bling. It's got velvet and a little bling. <laughs> and that's so cute. 
Oh my goodness gracious, gracious, love it, love it, love it. Is that all you say? Why no, that's not all we say. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a little quilted cow. And what's in this quilted cow? Well, and it also has a little hook, a little hook. This is a microfiber cleaning cloth. What a little Lily. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's hooked in there so you don't lose it. Oh, that's a good idea. Microfiber cleaning cloth. And it's hooked in there so it don't come all the way out so you don't lose it. He's got the quilted cow. Oh, it's a little quilted cow. Little quilted cow. And that's super cute. I think so. George. Hey, buddy. Little quilted cow. And then I guess you just put it right back up in there. And then you never lose your um, buddy. You need to lay down or something. We're not interested in your hygiene right now. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. But I also have something else in here. Hey, buddy. Hey. I have to be careful because sometimes he gets into that state and it, I think it has to do with anxiety with him being old and other animals outside and he's actually popped me when he didn't realize it was me. Not that he meant to. He just didn't realize or he's getting Alzheimer's or something. But this right here is probably, they even gave you the applicator to use on the heat and bond. That's what that looks like that is. And it always comes with a little, I don't know what you call them, pretties. We'll call them pretties. So, what did we get in this box? We got the fabric kit and vinyl for this and that project. Here's your piece of vinyl. Here's your liquid vinyl cute super cute um fabric to make your um you can either make the very cute bag or you have enough to make the bb basket and the small fold and store baskets so you can make two things or just one. You have enough for that. We also got the pattern stand. And patterns for all projects. We got, we already talked about the, this is to line, do the line into either project. The tomato pin cushion and the little microfiber cleaning cloth. So I just, I'm, I'm loving this box. I'm glad I got it. I'm just, it's, it's down my alleyway as far as fabric wise. And that really matters to me because if I don't like the fabric, I'm not going to do nothing anyway. And, um, they got really cute little projects I like. And this BB basket, I mean, that looks very usable. Let me see if it gives us a size on how much. 10 by 4 and 3 fourths by 6 is the berry basket. And then the other little baskets are, makes four dishes that collapse for easy storage. 4 and a half by 5 by 11 and, oh, I'm sorry. 4 and a half by 5 by 1 and a half inches tall. So you get four dishes that collapse for easy storage. You can do that. Try not to give you all the directions. And they collapse. And then the berry bag is going to be, hmm, let's see if it tells me. Small finish size is nine inches wide by eight and a half high by three inches deep. And let's see. 
nine by eight and a half, nine wide by eight and a half high. And the large, um, the large it size is 13 and a half by 12 and a half by, and by four inches. So, I'm digging it. I just have to learn how to make um, bags. Am I going to become a bag maker? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep this pretty fabric and make something else. I don't know. Whatever I want. Got your little bling bling. So y'all tell me if you like it. I like it. I think it's adorable. It's super cute and yummy and delicious. And it's right up my alley. So y'all tell me what you think down below. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So only you can help me reach a thousand subscribers by clicking on Lily and Poppy and hitting subscribe if you don't mind. And a thumbs up and a comment or two. And I appreciate y'all for all you do. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.